The Saab JS-39 Gripeny, a marvel of Swedish engineering, is more than just a fighter jet. It is a symbol of modern air power for smaller nations looking to enhance their defense capabilities. Let's explore what makes this jet a compelling option for the Philippines as it seeks to modernize its air force. First introduced in the late 1980s, the Gripen has evolved over time, reaching its latest iteration, the Gripen E. This version is equipped with state-of-the-art avionics, powerful engines, and sophisticated weaponry that make it not just a fighter, but a versatile multi-role aircraft. The Philippines, an archipelago with unique defense needs, has long sought a fighter jet that balances advanced features with operational flexibility, and the Gripen E fits that bill. At the core of the Gripen E's power is the General Electric F414 engine, which gives the jet its superior thrust and speed. This engine represents an upgrade from the earlier models and offers enhanced performance, allowing the Gripen to fly faster and carry more weapons. This brings us to one of the standout features of this jet, its multi-role capabilities. The Gripen can handle air-to-air -air combat, air-to-ground strikes, and reconnaissance missions with equal proficiency. This is exactly the kind of versatility the Philippines needs, given its geographic complexity and evolving defense requirements. Now let's talk about the radar system. The Gripen E is fitted with the Raven ES 05 ASA radar, one of the most advanced radar systems available. This radar can track multiple targets at once, providing the pilot with critical information in real time. Additionally, it's highly resistant to jamming, which means the aircraft can maintain functionality even in electronic warfare environments. The jet also boasts infrared search and track RSD, technology, which allows it to detect enemy aircraft without using radar, making it more difficult for adversaries to detect the Gripen in return. For the Philippines, which must protect a vast airspace over land and sea, this radar and sensor combination is crucial. But advanced sensors and radars aren't enough. A modern fighter needs powerful weapons. The Gripen E can carry the Meteor Beyond Visual Range BVR, missile, one of the most advanced air-to-air -air missiles in the world. The Meteor has a longer range and higher kill probability than its competitors, giving the Gripen a significant advantage in air combat. In a region where airspace control is increasingly important, the ability to engage targets from long distances provides the Philippines with a new layer of strategic defense. And what about cost? The Philippines, like many nations, has a limited defense budget. One of the Gripen E's major selling points is its cost-effectiveness. Saab designed this aircraft to be maintained by a smaller crew, and its operational costs are lower than many other fighter jets. This is a big reason why the Gripen is seen as a better fit for the Philippines compared to the American F-16B. The operational cost per flight hour of the Gripen is significantly lower, which makes it a long-term investment that's easier to manage financially. Moreover, the Gripen E's operational flexibility is another big draw. This jet can take off and land on short runways, even using roads if necessary. This is a critical feature for a country like the Philippines, which has many small islands with limited infrastructure. The ability to deploy the Gripen from smaller, unprepared airfields gives the Philippines more options in terms of where and how it can operate its air defense. Now, let's compare the Gripen E to its main competitor for the Philippines' multi-role fighter program, the F-16 Block 70 70 seconds. Both aircraft are highly capable, but they cater to slightly different needs. The F-16, while powerful, is more expensive to maintain. The U.S. offered the Philippines the F-16 Block 70 70 seconds for around $2.5 billion, which includes missiles and other equipment. However, this high cost has caused Manila to hesitate. By contrast, Sweden offers a more flexible lease-to-own arrangement for the Gripen, which is a more affordable option. In terms of radar systems, the F-16 Versus and Slash APG, 83 ASA radar is a formidable system, but the Gripen's radar is no slouch either. Both are capable of detecting and tracking multiple targets at long ranges, but the Gripen's IRSD system gives it an edge in passive detection, something the F-16 doesn't offer as standard. Survivability is another key factor. The Gripen's Electronic Warfare EW, suite is one of the best in the world. It allows the aircraft to detect, counter, and avoid enemy missiles through advanced jamming and countermeasures. This feature significantly increases the jet's survivability in contested environments. The F-16 also has electronic warfare capabilities, but the Gripen suite is generally considered more advanced, especially in environments where radar jamming and electronic warfare are prevalent. So, what does all of this mean for the Philippines? The decision between the Gripen E and the F-16 
16 blocks, 70, 70 seconds comes down to a balance of cost, capability, and strategic considerations. BF16 is a proven platform with a large global user base, offering interoperability with other US supplied systems. However, the Gripen E presents a more affordable and versatile option, especially when considering the financial constraints and geographic realities of the Philippines. This brings us to the geopolitical aspect. Choosing the Gripen would strengthen the Philippines' defense ties with Sweden, while choosing the F-16 would further solidify its long-standing alliance with the United States. Both countries are key partners, but Sweden's offer might allow the Philippines more operational independence. Moreover, the Gripen E's ability to integrate with NATO systems means it can still maintain a high level of interoperability with U.S. and allied forces. Ultimately, the Philippines faces a pivotal decision. Whether it opts for the cost-effective and highly versatile Gripen E or the battle-proven F, 16 blocks 70, 70 seconds, the choice will define its Air Force's capabilities for decades to come. Both aircraft offer advanced technologies, but the Gripen's operational flexibility, cost savings, and survivability in electronic warfare scenarios make it a particularly compelling option. As the Philippines seeks to protect its vast archipelago and territorial waters, acquiring a squadron of multi-role fighters like the Gripen could enhance its ability to defend its airspace and maintain regional security. For now, all eyes are on the negotiations, with both Sweden and the United States offering their best platforms. But one thing is clear, the Gripen E is a frontrunner, and its features make it a strong candidate for becoming the backbone of the Philippine Air Force's modernization program. Thank you for tuning in. If you found this valuable, please show your appreciation by giving a thumbs up and subscribing to OHA News Asia, your trusted source for knowledge always at your fingertips.